That doesn't make Capricorn that fast. And they have some breaking news from the NASCAR <laughs> world. So, when I came home at 6 p.m. at home, I realized NASCAR racing had forgot something. And then I realized, oh, I should look at Facebook or YouTube to see whether Haley Dean had an announcement, which came yesterday for me. So it was kind of like before NASCAR race up started at 6 p.m. So I'm going to show you a short video of a sneak peek of Haley Deegan's new Xfinity ride just for one race and then depending on if the Xfinity owners believe she's ready well or even the four teams give her a ride at Stuart Haas or the team that gave her that opportunity which was Bobby Dodder and that's just green light racing Spoiler alert, I gave the news away, but let's just look at our new ride. When it comes to the NASCAR world, when things are about to get announced, there's usually a lot of rumors about it. It usually gets told before it's actually announced, but this is something that we've kept a secret pretty well. So with that being said, are you guys ready to see this? Bad. So there you have it. That's her new ride. The number 07 pristine auction Ford Mustang. Ready to hit the track at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the Alsco Uniforms 302. So what do you guys think of that ride right there? Like, remember in 2020 when she drove the number 17 David Gillen racing Ford with Monster Energy? backing her up at Kansas Speedway like we were all I mean unpredictable of what of how she'll perform in that first truck race but she just came a long way and she I know during the pandemic there was no real life qualifying so she had, it was based on order points and etc so yeah somewhere in the high 20s and then we're moving our way up and i mean she kept good pace throughout the day and eventually she was only a lap down by the end of the race and she finished 16th ahead of some usual truck drivers like johnny sonner or ben rose I'm just guessing, but they might have, they might have finished ahead of her, but I mean, it was a cloudy day, and I mean, ever since 2020, she's been kicking butt of a majority of the male drivers <laughs> from 2022 now, which is 2022, so I'll give her, give you some stats, so 2021 finished 17th in points, only had one top 10, which was a 7th at Gateway, so, but her, I believe average finish is a 20th or 21st, but, but this year in 2022, it's been backwards, like, I, I know she needed practice and qualifying to see how our rate our race truck is but it's been considerably worse so however she does have two top tens this season one coming at mid ohio where she finished 10 and talladega where she finished six i know based on luck but yeah as long as you hang in there don't have any mechanical failures don't do silly moves like take people out you know you'll get those good finishes you know and and i believe her average finish is a considerably not considerably but a slightly low like a 23rd or 24th so eventually she's gonna have to come on her own 
once he gets promoted to the Xfinity series. So, yep. Like, I haven't been watching uh, any of Haley Deegan's YouTube videos as of late because uh, I'm busy with schooling. And I know if you're infatuated with her, it's like you're not going to be a race fan of her, you know? Like, you have to learn the boundaries of being a race fan and not be all over social media all the time, which I kind of learned when I was typing something on Facebook and this guy said, hmm, I think her... Is her two fa 23 plans are do less Facebook or YouTube and do a little more local races. Hmm. That gave me a good idea to say, hey, let a race fan be himself. So, <sighs> let's see. I mean, look at that picture right there. That cool looking red paint scheme or race car it's gonna look good in the uh, racetrack and be easy to identify so yeah so yeah I thought Joe Grab Jr. would be in the 07 but he hasn't raced as much but anyways I'm happy Haley Ding got the Xfinity ride for just one race an auction to see if or audition to see if she will get a full-time ride with any of the four teams so i make a happy car in that time y'all have a good evening and peace out so we're coming to the end of my youtube video right now so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much click on that bell button to subscribe for more content and if you saw the recent video interesting share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome so I make a happy Corona night five you'll have a great day and peace out